Hello, I'm Russell Boudreau, Router Product Manager here at Multicam, and this is Julio Pierre, Lead Applications Manager. Today, we're gonna to be showcasing the superior edge quality of the Apex 3R, cutting 3 8 acrylic using a 32,000 RPM spindle to do a custom three-tier display stand. That's right, Russell. We'll be going over to some tooling operations such as thread milling and cutting with a diamond tool to show a beautiful acrylic edge. Here we wanted to show a real-world application where, in this case, we went with a small three-tier display where the thread milling would apply very well here. And then being that the material is acrylic, uh, we can really show the nice edge finish with a diamond tool. So through holes for the flathead fasteners and hole pockets for thread milling is the first process we're going to accomplish. We're using an R16-bit, which is our 3 16 plastic spiral upcut. Julio, I can hear the higher RPM and see the slower motion when doing these holes. What is your toolpathing parameters for this and why? Yes, normally with cast acrylic, a higher RPM is, is preferable. So in this case, we're going at 28,000 RPM. And then on the cut feed, there's really no need to go very fast because it's such a small uh, hole. 40 inches a minute is more than enough. And on the down feed with 30 inches a minute, and with one pass and with climb direction, we're using a helical type of lead-in, uh, which allows us to take a little bit at a time as we go in, so there's really no need for multiple pass in this type of tool pathing. Thread milling is accomplished by using a special style router bit that creates threads in the material by the machine moving the bit in an XYZ spiral thread pitch motion, which is really neat uh, because any of our spindles can offer and accomplish this process. Julio, could you talk about what the software is that you used to create the thread milling and what some of your experience is with it in acrylic? For this application, we're using AlphaCam. Uh, I find it very easy to use, especially for the thread milling. Uh, it allows you to really input all the spec for the tools and controlling, has a very good control of the thread engagement inside in the material. Um, the tool that we're using here is the is the Harvey tool, Alton coated four quarter 20 thread. Uh, we're running that at, at 6,000 RPM uh, with a cut rate of 10 inches a minute and a down feeder also 10 inches a minute. One pass going climb uh, with the thread milling toolpath feature uh, in AlphaCam. So the machine is picking up an engraving tool. What's that gonna be used for? So this tool that has been picked up, it's a 90 degree engraving tool with a five tile tip. I really like using that tool because when we use it, it almost, with the right RPM and feed rate, it almost polished the acrylic. So I'm using that to do the countersink. Uh, in, the, in the display, there's a couple of flathead screw that we're gonna be using to assemble the display. So that's gonna be used to countersink all of these holes where those screws are gonna be. All right, so for the rough cut, we're using an R41. This is a quarter inch O up cut end mill uh, for acrylic. Great tool to cut acrylic and to get also great finish out of that. Uh, so the way we're doing this is we're doing two passes, but the first pass will take 80% of the material and the final, of the final pass will, will take the rest out. So why the clean pass? Isn't the bit or the machine capable of cutting three eighths all in one pass? Before the diamond tool does his finishing, it's very important that the cut pad is completely clear. So the second pass allow for the, for the quarter inch to pick up all the remaining particulates so that it's completely clear uh, before the diamond tool is engaged. So I see the machine is picking up a diamond tool right now. Is that a mono or a polycrystalline diamond tool? So for this application, Russell, we're using a monocrystalline diamond tool. But I thought a polycrystalline was like two to three times cheaper than a mono. Why would you choose to use the monocrystalline diamond tool? That is correct. Uh, the mono will give you a much clearer edge finish as opposed to the poly. Uh, the poly will give you a good edge finish, but it's, it won't be as clear as the mono. As a matter of fact, the mono tool that I've been using for the last three and a half years, which I've taken to many shows and done many projects with it, still gives me the same beautiful edge quality.
So the Apex 3R with its smooth motion and a 32,000 RPM spindle has made this project easy and profitable. And for any assistance, please call our main number 972-929-4070 and ask for application.